the alarm went off at 245. I had nine excuses. Nine excuses not to go. Oh yeah, you need the sleep. Oh yeah, you need the rest. Oh, Corey, well, you know, you can do it later. Oh, uh, you know, the guys will be all right without you. I mean, it's like, but I just kept ignoring it, right? So I got up, put my eyes in, you know, look myself in the mirror, say, gee, just keep going. Next step, downstairs, you know, I do some mobility, get my stuff, get everything going, get everything together. Like, the doubt is always going to try to creep in. Always doesn't matter whether you know you're going up to a bar you're going into a meeting just know that when it creeps in you push it out just know that when it starts talking you ain't listening and that prime example was had a great workout today I feel like I'm one day closer to my goal not one day further away now also uh, you know got a good lunch session in I'm gonna work on content like the difference would be is I Studied an hour, I worked out for an hour and a half, I lunged 400 meters, I had one business call, I've worked on one article, and I think it might be 7.30. Keep in mind, if I'd have shut my alarm off, I'd have listened to that doubt, that alarm probably, obviously would have been off, I would have been just waking up and all that wouldn't be done. So I'd be backtracking right out the gate. And so, just don't, Listen to it. I know we all succumb to it every now and again, but I'm telling you it's not worth it. That most, every freaking time no one's went to the gym and said, I wish I didn't go. I'm telling you, very rarely is that the case. Obviously there's some times where you do need rest, but for me, today wasn't one of those days. So keep pushing everybody and just know that you're not alone. That I'm one of the fucking most disciplined machines you ever met. But I gotta fight the self-doubt just like yourself.